What's up, O fans? It's Sam here with Olight Canada. It's mid-November, and that can only mean two things. One, it's flu season, but more importantly, it's Black Friday season. And Olight has outdone themselves yet again with a wonderful list of products, including my favorite, the Marauder Mini. We're going to go tip to tail, tell you everything you need to know about it. Stick around. Starting at the business end, we've got a black stainless steel bezel, feels really sturdy, really sets the tone for the build quality of the rest of the light. Now where the magic happens, the LEDs. There are six white floodlight LEDs and three independent red, green, and blue LEDs, which is a really great addition to something like this. And what makes the Marauder Mini a Marauder is the long distance projector style LED in the middle. Now the floodlight is good for a maximum of 7,000 lumens of brightness and it is variable with seven different output modes. You can flick the switch that we'll talk about a little later to go into the long distance mode which will throw up to 600 meters which is very impressive. Then you can also press and hold the button to go through your RGB LEDs which are really handy to have. Red light, of course, is good for your night vision. Green light is good for walking the dog at night. I'm told it doesn't disturb animals that you may be looking for in the dark. And blue light, if you happen to be hunting at dusk and tracking an animal after dark, blue light will help reveal blood trails in snow and on the ground. Now each of those colors does have four different output settings and the lumens vary depending on what color you choose. Check out the owner's manual for details on that. And on the topic of LEDs, let's flip over to the Spotlight, which is a really crisp and beautiful round spotlight. A huge improvement from the square beam of the Marauder 2. It's just a lot nicer to look at. It covers a bit of a wider area, looks a little bit more natural and a lot more crisp along the edges. Looks a lot like the beam that you get out of a Javelot Mini. That's the closest comparison I can get. And the RGB LEDs, each one set into its own reflector, makes the RGB beams really beautiful as well. Uh, previous to this, you've had the Frayer as uh, Olight's other RGB flashlight. Well, this is a whole other ball game uh, with those beautiful round intermediate distance RGB beams. As we move down the light, let's talk about the aluminum construction. Now, just like any other Olight built to the highest standards, but this thing feels even more solid than just any old Olight. Uh, if you can feel the build quality in the aluminum. It just feels so robust in the hand and drop tested to 1.5 meters, but I feel like it could do more than that. However, I'm not gonna drop mine because I shudder to think about uh, leaving a scratch in this beautiful orange finish. Speaking of the finish, there are three different colors available. My favorite orange. Uh, you can also get midnight blue, which is an excellent color to have in a Marauder. And you can find black as well. Classic black. Always an option. As we continue down the body, let's talk about the rubber grips. I'm a huge fan of these rubber grips. They feel really good in bare hands as well as in gloves. Really great in warm weather or cold weather. It's just really nice to have. A great quality of life improvement. Especially on a size down a version of the Marauder 2. Um, of course, this has the same rubber grips that this one has. This one just fits a little bit better in the hand. Let's also talk about the weight. This thing weighing in at 462 grams, which is a full 280 grams lighter than the original Marauder 2. That's an entire Seeker 3 Pro worth of weight out of the full size one into the smaller one. So that's a lot less bulk to carry around, makes it a lot easier to put in a jacket pocket or a cargo pants pocket and much easier to carry around in the hand. Speaking of carrying it around, you have a couple of options. It does come with the lanyard and a lanyard clip right here. So that's one way that you could use it. It also comes with this really handy holster with the uh, elastic straps. You can just throw this on your belt. It works great there. You could throw it on uh, tactical webbing. It actually does work that way as well. Or you got a D-ring to help you carry it around. This comes in the box, very handy. 
Now let's talk about the switch gear and the user interface. The configuration is very similar to the Marauder 2 but with some very notable improvements. First off, the rotary dial still utilizes the auto lockout safety feature and that is the main safety feature of the light itself. There's no proximity sensor on this light so the automatic lockout is one of the main most important safety features. Now to unlock the light from off you rotate the dial past 90 degrees. When you do that, the light is able to activate. How do you know that you've rotated it enough to unlock? Well, the little indicator in the middle of the multi-indicator will light up in white when you've unlocked the light. So just a little visual indication that lockout mode has been disabled. Once the light is unlocked, you can rotate the dial through seven different brightness settings all the way up or all the way down. And when you get to the top or the bottom of the brightness settings, you get a tactile feedback. A little vibration motor tells you when you've reached the bottom of the travel and the top of the travel. Just a really nice physical way to know when to stop scrolling when you've reached the top or bottom of the brightness available. The multi-indicator lights are a lot more dim than the old multi-indicator on the Marauder 2. I think that's uh, one to be a little bit less distracting at night, uh, yet still visible in the dark, and maybe a little bit more energy efficient. And of course, the high beam and low beam switch right here, very satisfying click. Switches between the high beam throw mode and the low beam flood mode. Last thing to talk about with the switch is auto lockout mode. Now, you turn the light off, after 10 seconds, the light will go into automatic lockout mode. That's down from 30 seconds on the Marauder 2 and the Seeker 3 Pro. Again, with auto lockout mode being the main safety feature, having it lock itself out after 10 seconds of use, I think that's a great innovation for safety. You definitely don't want this thing coming on by accident and with that 10 second lockout it's uh, very safe intrinsically. One other safety feature worth mentioning at this time is the thermal sensor. So if it does sense that the light is getting too hot it will dim its output appropriately in order to not overheat the light itself but you know it still can get pretty hot. Moving further down the light to the bottom section this light is rechargeable through the magnetic uh, charging cables that Olight is so famous for. Any two amp charger will work with this light here. And it is a magnetic tail cap, but it's not really rated for um, sticking or mounting onto anything. I wouldn't recommend that you do that. And one of the biggest innovations from the Marauder 2 is the replaceable rechargeable battery. This is huge. Not only because if you're in the field, you might want to carry a spare battery for those long nights, but also at the end of the useful life cycle of a lithium ion battery, you can replace this semi-expendable piece of the puzzle, replace it with a fresh one, and then your Marauder 2 is ready for three, four, five more years of service at your side when you need it. So there you have it, a tip to tail overview of the Marauder Mini, available in three colors during the olightstore.ca Black Friday sale. This is a must have at a price of around, I think $189 on sale, incredible value, it's like carrying around three different lights all in one. I think if you don't get one of these during the Black Friday sale and you're into Olight, then you're definitely missing out because this light has it all at a reasonable price point in three excellent colors. So use the link below to check it out and stick around olightstore.ca and the Olight Canada YouTube channel for more Olight information. Thanks for watching.